Hello everyone and welcome back to Syntax Byte. My name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how to execute a PowerShell command from VBA, get that result as well. So we're not just going to execute a command, you could do that uh, using the same method shown in the video, but we're also going to get the result and in my case I'm just going to throw it onto the sheet here. So I had to recently do this when I was working with the Google Translate API and I needed to use their command line program to authenticate with the API. Luckily, I was able to do this via PowerShell and it made my macro, you know, work well. And it's a very versatile technique when you have a lot of different things that you need to do uh, with your macro. So we're just going to go ahead and get started here today. I'm going to find the available free space on the user's C drive and put that on the sheet. But you can do anything you want um, as, as you see fit for your macro. So the first thing is we luckily don't need to add any references for this and we just do set w shell or you can call it whatever you want. We need to create an object of w script dot shell and then we get the result. So w shell result is going to be equal to w shell exec. So this is the line that actually executes the command. So if you didn't want to grab the result, you could just not set it to anything and then just call this command here. We're going to do PowerShell. Make sure you put that and then you put your PowerShell command. And in my case, I'm going to do get volume of drive flutter C. And I'm going to get the size remaining. And next up, we want the results. So I'm going to say dim results as variant. It's probably going to come in as a string, however. And then we can do result is equal to w shell result dot standard out dot read all. Now, if you've ever programmed in C, you will know that usually you use standard out for your positive output. But if there's an error, you would use standard error. So if you're expecting an output from your command, but you're not getting it, try changing this to standard error and seeing if you're getting an error. Of course, you could probably try and, you know, use one of these for the positive result, one of them for the error and print them both. But unfortunately, uh, they do come in two different sort of outputs there. So just be aware of that. Um, and if you're, you think you might be getting an error, but you're not seeing anything, go ahead and change that to standard error to see if there, if there is an error output there. And so the next thing we want to do is we want to just put do whatever we want to do with that result. So in my case, I'm going to say uh, range, I'm going to use b1 dot value is equal to result. Uh, but you could do anything you want. I'm just going to put it on my sheet for now. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. It's going to pop open PowerShell briefly. And then it's going to go ahead and put that result on the sheet. Now, of course, this is in bytes. Um, not the most user friendly, but I can convert that. You could convert it in code or you could just convert it here. Now, I've had this issue once already today, so I need to do a quick text to columns to get it to be a number. And then I can do uh, this. And I believe it's divided by power. 1024 to the power of three and that gives me you know about 1.46 uh, gigabytes available so anyway hopefully the math is correct on that but either way that's not what we came here to do today we came here to uh, get a powershell command going from vba and that's exactly what we did so i hope you've enjoyed the video hopefully it helps you out if you like this content and want to see more content of a similar nature feel free to subscribe to my channel, I do lots, lots of Excel videos as well as other programming videos. And otherwise, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please put a like on the video and comment down below if you have uh, comments, suggestions, problems with this technique. And I will catch you in the next video.